Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Aries. Welcome back, Rams. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Rams. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves. Shout out to the beautiful Soul family. Thank you so much, Soul Tribe, for your continuous love and support here on this channel. I appreciate you. And welcome back to the returning subscribers as well. Thank you all so much for your comments, your feedback, and your support. I appreciate you as well, all right? And welcome, Rams. Welcome to the ones that are new here. Definitely, if today's content fulfills your spirit, don't forget to subscribe as well. We would love to have you Aries a part of our soul family here as well, all right? So no further ado, we're going to go ahead and dive into your love life, Rams. We're going to see who is in your energy here today and why, all right? The readings here today are general, all right? If you would love to book a personal reading, Rams, my email details are down below, loves, in the description box, all right? We're going to dive directly into some tarot here to see who is this person and why are they in your energy when it comes to love and romance, all right? And then we'll see why this person feels this way about you you and we'll close out with some word advice all right so no further ado rams let's go ahead and dive in let's get more insight on this person here we got a card that immediately jumps out okay wow the high priestess pisces energy here okay some y'all this person here may be a pisces they're very intuitive here whoever this energy or person here is that is around so whoever this person that you are exchanging energies here with aries this is someone that is well aware of what's going on or what they maybe have done or said towards you let's get more insight on this high priestess energy here okay Whomever this person here is, they know what's going on. It's not like this is a blindsided type of situation here, okay? Clarify the high priestess here. Again, this could be a Pisces for some of you all. Wow, yeah, there is some type of conflict that's going on around you, okay? And it could be having you kind of feeling conflicted as well. It could be about this uh, Pisces or this high priestess here, okay? There could have been some secrets here or some rumors being shared here. Something here that has caused conflictions around multiple people here with the five of ones. That's multiple people that is in that card there, okay? There's going to be some type of competition, some conflict, some envy, jealousy energies here. I'm picking up that also could be around as well. This could be an air sign, Aquarius. I'm also hearing here, but I want to say a leap. Wow, a Libra, a Gemini, and again, a Sagittarius, an Aries, and a Leo is what I was trying to say there, Ram. So an air sign could be very significant as well, all right? Let's see why else is the Five of Wands and the High Priestess here in your energy today, Aries. Why else do we have these energies here? The World Court in reverse. Wow, someone doesn't want to let you go. Someone is having a difficult time. They're not wanting to find closure or, you know, this is someone that wants to do things, but do it in a way of shortcuts. Or they want to try to cause delays or, uh, you know, not to have any incompletion going on here. Someone definitely doesn't want to end the cycle here that they now know is well run its course here. So whoever this person here was with that you were in a relationship, it's like you are ready to evolve, but they're not. You know, they rather stay stuck and stagnant and stay in the same place. Yeah, and because of that, this is why some of you all have to decide to move from this person. The Six of Swords talks about moving away from people, places, and situations that you find yourself no longer resonating with, okay? The Six of Swords here talks about, you know, being genuine and having to move forward and take the waves. You know, this card always talks about going towards those calmer waters, leaving the rocky waves and waters. And I feel like that's exactly where you are may be at right now. You know, contemplating on one foot in, one foot out the door for some of you all and just kind of seeing everything that's going around. You just want to get away. Some of y'all just want to move. You want to start over to a new in, you know, a new space, a new environment here for yourselves. And some of y'all have done just that. You've packed up your things got your family and you done head the fuck out all right so let's see what else you need to know about this person here today rams that is in your energy here some of y'all this person could be a libra while wow, we have lovers gemini energy here okay so some of y'all this person here could be a gemini 
All right, someone that you are now gaining feelings here for, or they're seeing that you are their counterpart here. I feel like some of y'all, this is what the fuss here is about. Someone could be jealous of you and the connection that you're having with the fire sign or an air sign here. For some of you all, and they're not wanting to let their ex go that is with you or who you're connecting here with. What else do Aries need to know at this time here? Wow, yeah, look at that. The Ace of, mm, I want to say the Ace of Cups. Yeah, someone is in love with you. Someone definitely wants a new beginning here with you. Wow, I can't make this up. We got the Ten of Cups. This could be a Pisces here for some of you all, but they definitely see you as their ultimate happiness here with the Ten of Cups coming out. Like, wow that is crazy okay so let's see what does this person want to say let's see now it's happening to this person's energy here now that we kind of got some details out here on what happened here let's see what is this person here wants to say what do they want to say based off of everything here for aries wow we got i feel my best around you uh oh sorry about that aries i feel my best around you so this person here wants you to know that you've always made this person feel their best when they were around you always i'm hearing yeah always in forever okay i don't care i want you it's almost like at this point i don't care what other people may think or feel about us this person maybe was concerned on how people were going to feel about this person but it's like now they know taking that leap of faith with you has taught this person already so much love okay wow yeah look at that we got i will make it all up for you so they're definitely wanting to come in and make things right here and make their amends here okay and we got, I love your legs, okay? So your legs could be very significant here. You may have gotten several compliments on your legs here, okay? We got, I can't help the way I feel, Oh, Yeah, someone is definitely gonna come in and want to uh, give you an offer here, Aries, all right? Wow. Let's get some word of advice as we close out here. Let's get some more advice here, Aries. Let's see what word advice your golden angels and your ancestors have as we head out here for your reading today. Again, definitely if the reading here has resonated, don't forget to like and subscribe. We would love to have you here, Aries, a part of our soul family. And if you would love to, again, book a personal reading, my email details are down below in the description box, my loves, all right? Let's see here. What is the potential outcome here, golden angels? We got meditation, bring answers, okay? So don't be afraid to sit with yourself and meditate and then wait for the answers to come to you before you react. It could take a couple of hours. It could take a day. It could take two days. It could take a week, okay? Just follow your intuition here, Aries. We got, yes, be a servitive. Make sure that you're standing your ground. Make sure that you are speaking on what you are seeing and also having things to back that up, okay? We got to ask for help from others. So some of y'all don't be afraid, please, to ask for help from others. I know you're used to being able to naturally do things on your own, Aries, but sometimes a little help can go a long way, okay? Yeah, look at that. We have remained positive. Some of y'all are not in that positive space because of things that may have happened transpired between you and this person, but your spirit team, in order for things to come back around in full circle, you always want to stay on the most highest frequency vibration you can as possible, okay? But wow, that was your energy check-in for today, Aries. I definitely hope this reading brought you some clarity, definitely gave you some insight on this person's energy here and why. Thank you so much, Aries, and I wish you and this person here the best, my loves. Bye-bye.